Bom dia, me gente. Good morning, guys. We're back in Sao Paulo. We're back in Brazil. And ahead of continuing the Brazilian adventure and flying to the next destination here in Brazil, we're back in Sao Paulo for one day. I've got one day here. Tomorrow, we'll be leaving Sao Paulo and head to the next destination. And the last time I was here, I missed out on a very interesting place. We missed out on a very interesting place, guys. Sao Paulo's biggest market. As you know, if you've watched this channel, I like going to markets. We've been to Paraguay's craziest market, to Mexico's craziest market. So, we've got to check out Sao Paulo's craziest market. The Mercado Municipal Paulista, commonly known as Mercadal. Vamos! Back in Paraguay, I obviously bought a new SD card. I took advantage of the cheaper prices. And yeah, this will be the last vlog with this SD card, which has accompanied us throughout this journey through Brazil. So let's give it a good finish. The place we're about to visit, the Mercadal, well, it is located in the historic center of Sao Paulo. And this area is deemed quite dodgy. So the market itself is a very popular gathering spot for the locals here, for the local Paulistas to go and have their lunch, which we are about to do. But the surrounding area is deemed to be quite dodgy, filled with drug addicts and dealers and junkies. So let's hope that the camera will survive. So let's hold on the metro now and check it out. Now guys, the last time that we were here in Sao Paulo, it was still 2023, it was December, and I was raving about the prices here of the metro and public transport, because it cost only a few cents around the metro. But on January 1st, they've increased the prices. Now around the metro, costs a whopping euro. It costs one euro now, five reais. And yeah, they've doubled the price. So, that's not a good thing, I don't like that. I mean, I'm a European backpacker saying this, but I mean, I'm only here for a few days, two days actually to be precise, but I'm just a tourist here, but for people that live here, for locals, this must be so annoying. I mean, to just double the price of public transport, which you use daily, on a daily basis, which then doubles off your monthly costs of commuting through the city must be quite annoying. Right guys, welcome to the historic center, the beautiful center here of Sao Paulo, check it out. This is actually just outside of the Luz station, the biggest metro station and train station of the city. And I've been inside the station several times on my first, my last time here in Sao Paulo, but never outside the station really. And yeah, looks kind of rough to say the least. Let's go for some food and check out the Mercado Municipal Paulista. The Mercadal. But already now I see what people mean. I mean, check it out. Loads of homeless people around here. A lot more than in the area in which I'm staying, which my hostel is. The area is called Pinheiros, which, all, which is also the nightlife area. This area here looks a lot rougher. A lot more, you know, homeless people around, junkies around. And I reckon at night time, this area has to be avoided. This right here, guys, is one of Sao Paulo's roughest areas. Right next to the city's biggest market.
interesting place this. It's quite different to the places we've seen so far in Sao Paulo, isn't it? This area here kind of reminds me of the historic center, the downtown of Medellin. Because it seems yeah, a bit sketchy. I reckon if you come here at the wrong time of the day, it's going to get kind of sketchy. Now it's okay. Now it's all right. It doesn't look like the safest area to be at night. Right guys, we have arrived. This is it. The building here behind me, this classical fancy building, is the Mercado Municipal de Sao Paulo. Check it out. Looks kind of different compared to its surroundings. I mean, this is the market and this is the surroundings. So, I'm starving, so let's check out the market and go for some food here. I wonder whether many tourists actually come here. I've been told today and yesterday that I should absolutely visit this market. That it's one of the best things to do here in Sao Paulo. Already the last time I was told about this, but if I see the surroundings of the market, I mean, it looks a bit sketchy and I haven't seen any gringos so far in the streets and I wonder whether inside the market there'll actually be some tourists. Oh yeah, this is it guys. Yet another market hunt. Yet another market foot hunt. I think the choice is huge for food. Um, senor, uh, donde son comidas? Comidas. Arriba. Arriba. Okay. Here, yeah. Ah. Okay, para arriba. Obrigado. So the food is upstairs, guys. going up now guys and the home for foods and from up here well I wanted to say you got a decent view of the market and I can tell you guys that from the outside the market looks a lot prettier than from the inside there's some construction work going on at the moment as you can tell. So yeah. Bom dia. <laughs> oh, and this looks actually quite quite fancy. I didn't expect it. I mean, considering the surroundings of the market, I didn't expect this. Oh, and this looks quite tasty. Check it out. Ooh. Well, I think this ain't like the markets back in Peru or in Mexico and in Colombia. There's more of a popular place to come and eat. Hola, bon dia. So yeah, I guess I'll sit down here and try some foods. Right, guys, I've sit down at this place here, and yeah, this lovely Brazilian lady there convinced me to come here to her place. That's a nice tactic, by the way. Right, guys, so Sao Paulo's municipal market here 
this massive market in Sao Paulo is famous for one particular food. The pastéis de bacalhau, they even call it on the menu o famoso, the famous, the famous pastel de bacalhau, the famous bacalhau pastry. So as I like bacalhau, I really love it, well now I've ordered it, so let's try it out, let's chuck it out. It ain't cheap though, I can tell you this. Um, it costs 11 euros, so that's more expensive than if you go to some restaurant here in Sao Paulo and have like a menu, a lunch menu, so I didn't expect this. Markets, public markets are renowned to be a cheap area where people go to have some delicious cheap local foods, but this doesn't seem to be the case in Brazil, especially in Sao Paulo, so, but yeah. We'll have it anyway, so let's see how delicious it is. Maybe it's absolutely worth it. Right guys, this is it. This is my 11 euro pastry. Pastel de bacalhau, or famoso, the famous bacalhau pastry here of the market. So, without further ado, let's tuck in. This might be the biggest piece of pastry I've ever eaten in my life. Also the most expensive, but yeah, might be for a reason, so. Now guys, if you've ever been to Portugal, or if you've ever tried out bacalhau, the fish, then you're gonna love this. I mean, let's have a sneak peek into the inside of the pastel, check it out. It's basically filled with bacalhau, with freshly grilled bacalhau and it's delicious. Man, 10 out of 10. Might be expensive, but I guess it's worth it. And I've been told that it's tough to find these things outside of this market, so I reckon that's where the price comes from. Delicious. I think up there with the best piece I've had in Brazil. Up there with the best things I've eaten in South America in general. So yeah. Bon appetit. Viva Sao Paulo. Right guys, so this was probably the best but also the most expensive pastry I've ever eaten in my life. So yeah, the market here, it's not for poor people, eating out here is not for poor people, it's not what I'm used to, what I was used to back in Peru and in Colombia, or Bugabe. But it's huge still, check it out. Beautiful building, but more beautiful from the outside I reckon, than from the inside. This down here looks like a beer garden. In the center of the market, it's even called O Melon Chop de Mercado. Best beer of the market. Well, guys, seems to be quite a popular place to come for locals and of course as um as they don't often see a gringo around here everyone wants to get me into their restaurant into their place and it's basically the same thing everywhere food looks good i might even have some more food because i've got to say that that expensive pastry which was delicious wasn't really filling, so might get some more foods. But if I look at the menus here, it's basically the same prices everywhere. Right, listen guys, when the Portuguese came to this part of the world, they, like all the other conquistadores, did a lot of bad things. Really bad things, horrible things. But they also did some good things, and one of which is they brought delicious Bolinhas de Bacalhau to Brazil. Check it out. This is one of my favorites 
dishes in the world, Bolinas to Bacalhau. And if you've never tried it, you absolutely should. So that's a big plus point about this market. I mean, I'm not a fan of the prices here. I thought it was going to be a cheap local market, like the one I was used to here in South America, Latin America. Well, that wasn't the case, but still, Bolinas to Bacalhau make up for it. And yeah, without further ado, let's talk in. Second meal of the day, accompanied as you can see by some delicious Brahma beer. As we are at the market, and as this is my last, I probably last day, last ever time at this market here, we have to try out the most food as we can. So, yeah, check out this delicious Bolinia de Bacalhau. And it tastes delicious, so, bon appetit, guys. I approve, guys. Just over the pastel, the bacalhau, this bacalhau pastry we've just had, 10 out of 10. So, in regards to the prices, mm, it's so so. I don't like it so much. It's a bit expensive, but the quality of the food definitely makes up for it. So, I reckon you should come here, for in Sao Paulo. You should check it out. Don't expect cheap prices, but expect delicious food. So guys, I reckon that's it from the exploration of Mercado Municipal de São Paulo, the Mercadal. I can't lie, not my favourite market I've visited in this Latin American adventure, mainly due to the prices. I mean, looking at the surroundings of the market, you know, it's a bit, yeah, a bit weird that inside here, inside this, fancy looking building the prices are that high but then again the quality of the food is nice it's really good so should you be in Sao Paulo one day I recommend checking this place out don't come too late because as we've seen the market is not in the safest area of Sao Paulo so don't come too late and yeah brace yourself for some expensive prices, but delicious foods. Thanks for watching this short video, guys. I'll see you all very soon. I'll see you in a bit, as they say, as we continue the Brazilian adventure. And check this out, guys. Wowzers. So, ciao from Sao Paulo. I'll see you soon, guys. And by the way, guys, Sao Paulo, in terms of accommodation, is a lot cheaper than Rio. And as such as I'm not here for a long time, I've afforded myself, you know, I've treated myself to a private room for a change at a hostel. Check it out. This is my small, but quite comfortable private room cost me 12 euros a night so like 13 dollars a night so it's all right i mean it's pretty small check it out it's like maybe five square meters but yeah this is what you get for 12 euros a night here in sao paulo not too bad though in it and a beautiful view of some rooftop here 